When it comes to climate change in the Pacific, Pacifica people are resilient in every aspect. And looking into the future, Vanuatu has taken a step ahead in road infrastructure resilience. While negotiations are underway at COP28, Vanuatu made a presentation of its The Vanuatu Climate Information Blong Ready Adapt More Protect or Van Kirap project funded by the Green Climate Fund and implemented by the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment or SPREP and partners to show the progress of the project. Ravi Kitalai, the infrastructure coordinator of the Van Kirap project, elaborated on the project's aims, especially in road designs in hopes increasing climate resilience in the country. The model uh, we have used uh, is uh, through the Van Kirap project. Uh, we have uh, some uh, collaboration with some uh, colleagues from uh, Australia, from CSIRO, who have uh, developed some uh, model for Vanuatu on uh, temperature, rainfall, uh, sea level rise. And uh, this, uh, they have used the historic data for the Vanuatu Meteorology and Geohazard Department in order for them to come up with uh, projections for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50, up to 100 years. So the models have been uh, up to 100 years. And uh, we have uh, used these uh, models in order for us to incorporate inside the designs so that we do not just cater in the design for historic data, but we also cater for the future to come in which we can uh, show inside the uh, design how uh, what the amount of rainfall will be in a certain area, especially with the uh, roads. We have to take into account the amount of rain that will be fl either flowing along the road or across the road. And even if the road is close to the coast, then we'll have to also consider the sea level rise. Esline Garaibiti, the Director General of the Vanuatu Ministry of Climate Change, during the discussions stressed on why Vanuatu needs to be resilient when it comes to road infrastructure. Uh, we are also a volcanic island uh, with a type of soil that uh, is very specific uh, compared to other countries uh, in, the, in the Pacific region that are um, atoll islands. Uh, that have a different structure, soil structure. So in terms of design, having a guideline uh, as such will, uh, will help the sector responsible to better plan uh, in the maintenance work. Vanuatu is among the most vulnerable countries in the region to the increasing impacts of climate change and SPREP is ensuring better progress for the project. We need uh, to build resilience in not only the environment, but also in all the other sectors, including infrastructure, uh, because we need to integrate climate change. And this is something that is enshrined uh, in the Vanuatu uh, Sustainable Development Plan, NSDP, the People's Plan 2030, and uh, through the implementation of this uh, new Vanuatu Road Design Guide, really helps elevate and uh, a leap uh, forward for the infrastructure sector building much more resilient roads, not only that can withstand the, the hazards that are facing, uh, that they are facing now, but also once you build a road with a new road design guide, it will be able to be better resilient for current but future uh, tropical cycles that they're now facing. The road designs in Vanuatu are now based on future climate extremes and therefore the Van Kira project is building more climate-resilient infrastructures in the country.